okay, this is just my opinion. Uh, the best choice for an RV, something to get you where you want to go, out in the bushes. Nothing is perfect and uh, there's always good and bad with everything. Uh, this is the only way that I can haul all my stuff, my toys, my boat, a couple of quads, and still be comfortable out in the bushes. I looked at everything. I thought about buying a toy hauler. Uh, can't take my boat with me if I have a toy hauler. I can tow a big fifth wheel trailer. Can't take my quads with me. So there's drawbacks with everything. The main drawback with this is there's not as much room inside. And price per square foot of these is pretty much probably the highest of any RV. Anyways, I'll show you what it is. That's right, pickup truck. This one here is it's an F-350. It's, uh, it's older, it's 12 years old now. It's a diesel. Some of the good things, uh, one of them being that it seats six comfortably, has tons of power. That's this one here. It's uh, over 400 horsepower. Uh, I've got an old camper on it. It's well, 2009. So it's yeah, it's kind of old. It has pretty much everything I want it to have. Just going around the outside here. I've got it plugged in right now. You can see that's to get the fridge going cold so that uh, I'm going to take off in a couple days. So got to get my uh, road pops cold. It has a outside shower and I have a kind of a mechanism built where it attaches to the camper and it comes out and around made up with two shower curtains and a bunch of poles and it's an enclosure. Now on the back here we have, that's the compartment where the battery is and the remote control for the jacks. Two propane tanks in there. And now this is a bit different. This is my invention. I don't think you'd even find one on the internet like that. Uh, I had the box and I needed somewhere to put stinky stuff like uh, my chainsaw, gas, that sort of stuff. The ladder comes off and folds up and goes right inside. Now in here I've got my chainsaw, gas, oil, mixing oil, everything like that. And it becomes a step. And with the awning up there, it comes out and covers the, uh, well, we'll call it a back porch. Covers the back porch. Now, that set up there, it's uh, held on by the chains and down underneath here you can see it coming out of the receiver. I have a two inch square tubing. I cut it and bent it and then just brought it in and had somebody weld it. And it worked out pretty well. The inside's a mess right now as I'm packing to leave in a couple of days or tomorrow I guess. Pretty dark in here. Get some lights on. Now inside it's fairly basic. It's small. It does have the fridge, freezer, microwave, stove with the oven and three burners. It's pretty much like every other camper out there. 
bathroom. Bathroom has a shower and a fantastic fan. That there is a portable solar. There is only one battery in here. I got a hundred amp or a hundred amp hour, yeah, AGM. And uh, it pretty well gets charged by 10 o'clock in the morning. It's full full charge with that solar on it. The uh, the jacks, like I said, are they're remote, so it's uh, it's just a wireless remote, so it's pretty quick and easy. Now, this being four-wheel drive, that's one of the advantages. I can go a lot of places other RVs can't go. The other thing is, in less than 10 minutes, the camper can be off, and it's back to being a pickup truck again. And now, for the other advantage is... I have my trailer here, which is an 18-foot trailer. And on there, I put my barbecue. I put a couple of quads. And anything else I could possibly think of goes on the trailer. So when I get where I'm going, I have an 18-foot long deck. Oh, wait, no, not 18. I have a four foot extension that comes out right here from the door it comes out four feet uh, that is that wooden deck right there and it connects up onto the trailer so that gives me 22 feet of deck coming out the back of here and with those homemade wooden racks there my boat goes up on the top of the racks, so once I take the quad, the quads and the boat off of the trailer, it just has the racks, which then I pull a tarp out and over. The tarp covers the whole 22 feet. So basically it's a 22 foot long covered deck. with the barbecue and everything else on it which too just unhooks in a couple minutes and then I'm free to take just the truck I do also carry with me a generator in case it's really hot that way I can run the air conditioning as well. So there you have it. Oh, and it's a 6.4 diesel, so these trucks are relatively cheap to buy now, and if you get the right stuff done to the motor, which I have done, they seem to be quite reliable. I've had this one Oh, four years now, and I have not had a problem with it. The only thing I've ever had to do is put tires on it. And I actually just done that, so they're brand new. And I think that's about it for this video.